Crazy Taxi and Super Mario Galaxy just had a child and it slaps harder than my stepfather. If you love vehicular manslaughter, have a knack for retro games, or just looking for the goofy awe and want something refreshing, you have to check out Yellow Taxi Goes Vroom. Yellow Taxi Goes Vroom is a single player indie game focused on exploration, movement techs, and collect-a-thons. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this game is a banger. You know, as a gamer, I get pretty burnt out at all these AAA game dev companies trying to sell me off, quote, quality products just to receive something that has cut corners, plays horrible, and totally drops all of the expectations set by its entire consumer base. I'm not even listing any game in particular. Think about your worst offenders. And now, imagine a game with just over 200 Steam reviews flying right below your radar. Prepare to get thrown into a world as a toy wind-up taxi in a world filled with huge noses, ridiculous buildings, hilarious stereotypes, and dialogue that'll keep you cracking up for hours on end. Get a preview of each stage, like you were to enter a whole new galaxy in Super Mario Galaxy, or a gym in any Pokemon game. Proceed to use movement tech like it's Apex Legends to gather gears around the map that looks seemingly impossible to get. Enjoy the consistent onset of jokes that seem so predictable, yet so hilarious at the same time. It always cracks me up when bodybuilders talk about now not having to skip leg days because all of their cars broke down, or listening to a gentleman finish his glass of water even though he is surrounded 20 feet deep in seawater, or the ice cream man made out of explosives. Don't even get me started on Grandma's Island, who's worshipped and praised for her lasagna even though secretly nobody liked it but didn't have the heart to tell her. This game is full of secrets and treasures, in both in-game rewards and in simple dialogue. And if I haven't sold you yet, after you subscribe to this YouTube channel, after you check out the free demo in the Steam link in the description below, I want you guys to check out the soundtrack on Spotify. I mean, holy crap, the music in this game is so good. They dropped an album that hits so hard, it's like a bus running into a cement truck, into a gasoline truck that blew up into another wall of cement. It goes so hard. The music is amazing. I don't know if the devs would DMCA me for putting it in my videos, and I would love to get permission to play their music as background music, but honestly, I took half that album and put it into my regular gaming playlist anyways. It's been a minute since I've seen a game with an OG soundtrack like Yellow Taxi Goes Vroom. Holy guacamole, what a fun game. And this is coming from a guy who doesn't play this game genre. I'm an FPS junkie. I like big shooty things, and sometimes I like action-packed roguelikes, and this game gripped me by the balls, man. Well, I feel like I gave you pretty much the whole hoedown. If you guys enjoyed this review, please let me know in the comment section some things you liked, some things you didn't like, what your favorite color is, if I'm a sociopath for eating kiwis with the skin on, or the next big video game or video game genre you're excited to see release. Personally, I don't think we've had a good movement shooter since Titanfall 2. But anyways, that is about all I got for you guys. I hope you have a fantastic week this week, and I will catch you on the next one. Toodles!